think we're live. What's up, y'all? How you guys doing? I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing Tuesday evening. Let me just make sure that it is actually live in the group. Perfect. We are good. We are good. And, and, and you know, we're not two pixels, Casey. I love it. Uh, for those of y'all that um, have just recently joined the pre-doctor physical therapy students group, um, uh, you can see our names at the bottom. My name is Joseph and this is Casey. We are the co-founders of Pre-PT Grind and our job is to help y'all get into PT school. That, that's why we're here to coach you guys. And tonight we're gonna be talking about a topic that uh, we've been getting a lot. And I know for a lot of you that we're looking or are looking to apply this cycle, this is something that a lot of you are gonna be like, ooh, I've been thinking about this. I'm glad these guys are actually hitting it. Uh, but but if, if this is the first time you've ever followed pre-PT grind, man, listen, like we are here to make sure you're well taken care of. So like, if you need other like guidances and direction, feel free to listen to our podcast, the Pre PT Grind podcast. You can find us anywhere. This group is the one that gets spoiled the most. This is the group that we come into live and have live Q and A's and make sure that you guys are, are are good because you guys have chosen to be a part of this community and, and you've chosen to find as much clarity as possible to get yourself locked into PT school. Let's see who's live, Casey. Before we, before we start, man, we have Kelsey. How you doing, Kelsey? Great to see you. Erica, great to see you. Uh, Mr. Paulo Ching, great to see you, my friend. We have Megan, great to see you. Jamie, great to see you. Uh, Danica, great to see you. If I'm if, if I'm butchering anybody's name, I apologize. Uh, we have Kendra, what's up? We have Darshan, great to see you. Ellen, we have Ben, Alyssa, Courtney, Rye. Great to have every single one of you live. Welcome to uh, to tonight's live stream. Case, how you feeling, brother? I'm feeling good. Those are a lot of names you rattled off. I know. I know. Everybody like, joined yeah. tonight. Everybody <laughs> bored. And, and yeah. on, but hey, hey listen. Cool. That's right. They're so bored they want to listen to us, you know? <laughs> Yo, if you guys are here live, can y'all comment hashtag team live? And if you guys are watching on replay, comment hashtag team replay. It's, it's, it, like, it's just cool. Like when there's a lot of comments, it usually means that other people will get to look at the post and be like, hey, what's going on here? So uh, great to have every single one of you here. I think we have Alma here as well. Great to have you. Um, let's dive in. Let's dive in. Um, for those of you, how many of you are applying to uh, school this cycle? Let us know in the comments. Feel free to say uh, 2020. Um, I'm curious because one of the biggest questions we've been getting is, and it really a lot of it has come up with, with everything that's been going on with COVID. Um, a lot of students have just been wondering, hey, man, like my plan was to apply this year. My plan was to apply in 2020. And the honest truth is, I just don't know if it's gonna work out anymore. I don't know if I should be waiting until 2021, um, or you know, like maybe I should postpone everything. Like, like I'm just not sure what to do. And um, so Kelsey is applying this year, great. So, so Courtney's applying this year as well. So, so, so we have a few people that are applying now. And and, and the biggest thing that we want to talk about is that because a lot of students have just been like trying to figure out like, what should I do? Should I take the year off? Is it smarter for me to just like pause everything um, and just like wait till next year? Or should I just go through with everything this year and just kind of hope for the best? Mainly because now you're fearing things like, well, like I'm not gonna get all my hours because I was planning on taking them or, you know, I was planning on finishing them this summer or right now and, you know, clinics are closing down and I can't seem to get everything lined up. And so it's created a lot of added anxiety. So let, let, let's hit it, Casey. Like, if I'm applying this cycle, if my plan was to apply in 2020, should I move everything to 2021 or should I continue going on now if I'm really feeling uncertain about it, Casey? How do we process that? Yeah, so first, if the question is, oh, I'm applying this cycle and it doesn't feel possible, we have to make sure that is this really just a feeling or is that feeling really fact? Like we have to separate the two. Like let's put feelings over here, let's put facts over there. Cause sometimes it doesn't feel like you can do it, but sometimes the fact is, is that you can do it. Yeah. Uh, for example, with pre-PT grind, I'm sure when we first started, you know, it didn't feel like this was possible. It didn't feel like, you know, Courtney would be on live. It didn't feel like Kelsey would be on live, but the fact was that they were out there and they needed help, whether we knew it or not, whether we felt like it or not, whether we wanted to start this company or not, whatever it was, the fact was, oh, Troy, Courtney, Jennifer, Kelsey, and whoever else I miss and I can't see on my phone were out there. The fact was they needed help. 
regardless of how we felt. So for you guys, like, let's separate the two. It, does it just feel like you can't do it? Like, oh, it just feels hard. Oh, it just feels hard. Or is the fact, is, is the fact like, man, I went through my scenario and the fact is maybe things don't line up and maybe it's better for me to apply the next cycle. We got to make sure those two are different first. Then once we make sure those two are different, then we can move forward. Because the fact is someone is out there waiting for you. The fact is that people have gotten into PT school in your situation in worse situations. So it's not that you can't get in. It's just that it feels like you can't get in. It feels like it's too much to handle. It feels like it's never going to happen. But the fact is it can happen and you can get into PT school and you will get into PT school when, you know, you just make sure that everything's in place to do so. You got it. So like for me, it didn't feel like all the time I was going to be a PT, but the fact was I'm a PT. We can do examples all day. Uh, so that's the first point. The second point is uh, let's separate self-awareness from self-doubt. Mm. Are you just self-doubting yourself saying I'm just not s smart enough and that's why it feels like is, this is not going to happen? Or are you self-aware and breaking things down like I talked about earlier? Like, okay, I got the help I needed. I have my pros and cons list. I got a spreadsheet. I talked to Joseph. I talked to my family. I talked to advisors. You know, the summer classes don't line up for me. My GPA is at this point when it needs to be at that point. Okay, cool. Then let's apply next cycle. And that's okay. I think I think a part of this, even, even just talking this out, I think a part of that comes from people feeling like it's not okay to do that. Sometimes the feeling comes like, oh my gosh, if I have to push it back another year, I'm going to be seen as even more stupid than I am. I'm going to be seen as like, oh, she has to wait another year. So I told her she should have did something else. When the reality is like, no, like make sure we're doing this right. And if we're self-aware of what we're doing, it's okay to push things back six months, maybe another cycle to make sure that you're applying to schools with the best application possible. So that's where we need to separate as well. Are you just doubting yourself because you don't think you're too, uh, you don't think you're smart enough or you don't feel like you're smart enough or you feel like the whole world's crashing down on you? Or are you being practical about your situation and saying, look, it just doesn't look good right now. So let's push it back. And that's okay. Let me get the help I need. And that's okay. And so on and so forth. So if you're asking yourself this question, if this came through your head in the past weeks, months, years, then I think we should just separate those two facts and facts and self-awareness from feelings and, and self-doubt. But Joseph, with you from getting this question, what, what have you seen? Bro, you, you hit it right on the nail. Like, first of all, for those of you that are live, did that make sense? Like if what Casey just said makes sense, can you just let us know below and just say makes sense? Biggest reason is I, I want to make sure that this, for a lot of you, and, and I know not everyone is actually saying it out loud, but it's a big fear right now for pre-PTs. The, the, the biggest, like, it's been exposed by COVID, but the honest truth is we usually get that same fear every year. It's just that this year, it's a little bit more because a lot of things are a little bit outside of your control. So it feels like, it's like, man, clinics are shut down, all that stuff. Maybe I should just like wait till next year. But but what Casey just said right now, I just want to make sure that it makes sense. Because if that made sense, then what I'm about to say next to add to it will also kind of come together. So Troy says it makes sense. Uh, Courtney says it makes sense. Perfect. Like, th th like this is the key. The, the biggest thing I want y'all. Oh, what's up, Anton? How you doing? What's up, Kelsey? Oh, Kelsey says it makes sense as well. Perfect. So biggest things is like like you can't like don't let COVID justify your fears i'm about to explain that but but before before i do write that below comment that below because sometimes like when we write and learn at the same time it syncs a lot better you know it won't just be a live stream that, that you listen to and you're like hey they, they said some cool stuff and then you forget it can you write down can, can you write down i can't let covid justify my fear if you're watching live, write that down in the comments. If you're watching on replay, write that down in the comments. I can't let COVID justify my fear. So Casey just talked about the fact that the biggest thing is just being realistic and being able to like take a step back and look at your situation for what it is, which is 100% true. But, but, but we have to look at the other side of this thing. Like Casey also said, like, like, like why are we really scared of it? And for a lot of students, there are a lot of you that can still actually apply this year and you're freaking yourself out. <laughs> and, 
and, and what's happening is this sometimes sometimes it's like this casey if i believe if i believe like if i'm a kid and i believe that there's a monster under my bed right if i hear something weird it justifies my fear like it, it gives me an excuse is like 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 in the same way as a kid if i've heard a little noise under my bed it justifies my fear it pretty much lets me know hey that thing that you were scared of that thing that was in your head guess what <laughs> it's probably a good thing to be scared of it <laughs> because now you heard something so what what happened is this with covid for a lot of us that were scared about this cycle it, it happened and now there was a few other things uh yeah paul this is uh this is sherpa paul just texted me oh you did? <laughs> <laughs> i love it i love it well for for a lot of us who are applying this year when we had like fears about getting in this cycle or not getting in this cycle when everything kind of went into chaos, we were like, oh, well, guess that's just letting me know that, that, that my fears are justified now. And we're not saying it out loud. And that's why what Casey said is so important. Like, look, like, take a step back. Act like, act like you're somebody else, right? And, and, and just look at your, look at everything in your application from a very, like, objective perspective and say, like, am I just saying that because I'm scared? Or do I really have an application that just needs a lot of work? Like if I, if I, if, if, if this is exposing the fact that I really was not ready, like, man, I have so many things to change. I need to like retake a bunch of classes. I haven't even thought about the GRE. I don't even know this, that, and the other. Like, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe it makes more sense for you to apply next year. That's fine. But if you're looking at your application, you're like, man, yeah, you know, I, I think I got everything, but I need some clarity. Well, that's a clarity issue. It's two different things. It's two very different things. And if we have a clarity issue, then we have to find it. Like whether that's from us, whether that's from somebody else that you know understands the steps that you need to take, that's all it is. But, but I just wanna save y'all time. That's why we're doing this tonight. Be real. Because if it's just fear because you're, 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 you're anxious or you're assuming that, man, it's like worst case scenario is about to happen. Well, the honest truth is if we can, take a step back and figure out what the pieces are, you might still be able to get in the cycle. I actually spoke to a student recently who was like, Joseph, I I'm thinking about applying in 2021. I was like, cool, cool. Tell me why. Like, I, I always have to ask. I'm like, why? Like, you know, I'm curious. They're like, well, you know, I think, I think I'm good with my classes, but the big thing right now is the GRE. And I was like, okay. So when do you plan on taking the GRE? And they're like, well, you know, I'm going to study for the next six and a half months, seven months, and then take it this fall, but I know it'll be too late. And then I'll, I'll apply next year. And I was like, so the one thing right now in between us getting accepted into PT school or us applying is your GRE. Am I correct? And, and, and the student was like, yep. I was like, hmm, interesting. So, so it's April. What if, what if you could like do well on the GRE by, by June or July? What about that? And they were like, well, I, I guess I could apply this cycle. And I was like, wow. So we're, we're looking at the wrong thing. So, so, I, so I pretty much told the student, I was like, decide, which cycle do you want? Because if you want this cycle, your strategy has to be completely different than if you're applying next cycle. But don't let that extra year happen just because you're scared of, of, of what, like, like possibly not getting in this cycle or scared of, man, you know, GRE is too difficult for me. Y'all, like, you have to start asking questions. Where can I get guidance for that? How do I navigate this? Who can help me figure out the GRE? Because I feel like I suck at standardized exams. But, but the biggest thing is that has to be a question that you ask yourself. Like, am I being reasonable? Is it a feeling or is it fact? If it's fact, great. 2020, 2021 is a phenomenal year to apply and we have good time to actually set yourself up to kill it. Now, don't waste that year. Don't waste it. But, but if it's fact, great. But if it's a feeling, we have to start questioning. We have to start questioning it. And, and, and I hope that makes sense to a lot of you. Um, and if you're still feeling like, man, like how do I actually navigate through it? I, I feel like it's just a feeling. What do I do about it? Well, hit us up because for every person, it's a little different. Like, like send us a message, go to contactpreptgrind.com. Let's talk. Like myself or Casey will respond. Let's talk about it. Let us figure out like, how do we actually figure out your situation so that you can use this time wisely? As you're in quarantine or what, like, let's use this time wisely so that this year is still your year of getting accepted. If you're like, man, it's just a feeling, but I want to get in so bad. I want to figure this out. I, I've lost my confidence. I've lost my focus. 
you know, I've gotten distracted with everything going on and I'm trying to relock back in. And so if that is you, that that is our advice for tonight. And I hope that was clear. Casey, anything else, brother? That's it. Go to contactprepetgrind.com or acceptance navigator or COVID blueprint. Whatever we got out there, go find it. Find get it. <laughs> we got plenty of stuff for you guys. So enjoy. That's it, man. Much love to y'all. Have a great evening. For those of y'all that are part of season seven of the accepted system, we'll see y'all tomorrow night live. See y'all. Bye.